because when you're doing the commandments, you're not going to lean on to your own understanding. You know, well, he's a good person. You know, they gave me a, they gave me a dollar last week. That's a good person. They destroyed the neighborhood, but they're a good person. They brought turkeys. They bought the whole hood turkeys, but they poisoned the whole hood, right? But that's a good person. And, uh, you know, the commandments really get us on track with what the most high say is a, is a good person. Let's go to uh, 1 Timothy 1, uh, chapter 1, and verse 8. It's the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 1, and verse 8. But we know that the law is good if a man use it lawfully. Uh -huh. Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man. Why? Because if you're a righteous man, family, you're already doing the commandments, right? In the dream. But for the lawless and disobedient, uh -huh. for the ungodly and for sinners, mm -hmm. for unholy and profane, for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, mm -hmm. for manslayers. Because... You know, some people been taught evil. You know, you got some you got some evil parents in this world too, you know. They always talk about the children, but you got some people leading their uh, their you know, their young ones too to the uh, rebellious ways, you know, contrary to the most high. So, you know, when you know the law, you're gonna be in that light. You know, you're gonna fulfill that. So family, um, Today, the lesson we're going to finish up from last week, going into volume two of that third beast. You know, thank the Most High, the Spirit of the Most High. We've been really uh, digging in deep, just getting the studies up. You know, sometimes you need those encouragement lessons and, you know, those those ones that you can relate to a lifestyle. But now we're getting back into the, to the study and we're getting back to that meat. You know, um, you know, Thursday's lesson was good. You know, thank the Most High for that. We're going to further that next week, too. But going into this Third Beast, Volume 2. Here it go. For those who were here last week, what, what did some of y'all learn last week that was here last week from that lesson? Anybody that was here last week? What did we learn? Right. Or what did we get? Uh, what Or what was remembered? Maybe you forgot. Uh-huh, brother? Uh, that the Grecians were... The Third Empire, and that they were led by Alexander the Great. Khan. Brother D. Also, it was the Israelites going off, you know, for their own, own glory. Say. Yeah, trying to make a covenant, right? Uh huh. That's like where the fall away, like really started happening right here. Yeah, we had, we had, uh, we had some, you know since the time, you know, coming out of Egypt, but it, it, it's like it started really picking up more and more, you know, as the time went on, leading up to that. Like, that was like the last, okay, after this, you know, you got, what, 300 years of this, and then 70 AD coming, and then it's just, now you scattered even more, but always being scattered even during them times. So, let's pick it up at Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 1 and verse 9. Chapter 1 and verse 9. Please ask Steve. Right after the book of Proverbs. Yep. You said chapter 9? Chapter 1, verse 9. It's the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 1 and verse 9. The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. So there's really no new thing under the sun, right? You be like, man, this 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 generation today, man, they but no, nah, this it's always been, you know, murder amongst our people. It's always been they want to serve other gods. It's always been uh the fallen gods that everyone wants to worship. It's always been idols, right? We think we born in America and, and there's some new stuff going on. No, it's always been wicked empires ruling the world. Uh, as Lucifer as their God, right? Taking on different names uh, through paganism. I said paganism, paganism. Mm -hmm. But um, so yeah, it's always been that, you know. And we we going into the, the ways of 
the way Grecians was moving back then, same thing today. You know, we're going to get some more chapters in Maccabees, but let's, let's go to Psalm chapter 49, verse 11. Let's get that. The book of Psalms, chapter 49 and verse 11. Mm -hmm. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. So this is what, you know, the rulers of this world think, you know. They think they're going to war against the Most High, destroy his people, and, you know, they're going to just remain, you know. They think that this world is just going to continue the way it is. Or that they're going to bring something new, right? A new world order. They think it's going to last forever, huh? And their dwelling places to all generations. They think the dwelling place is going to last throughout all the generations, uh huh? They call their lands after their own names. Mm hmm. Every time when you look at what they do throughout history through colonization, just renaming it uh, uh, after their name, uh huh? Verse 12. Nevertheless, man being in honor abideth not. Mm hmm. He is like the beast that perish. Mm -hmm. So man thinks that, you know, they're above the most high. That's why, you know, Ecclesiasticus uh, 10 and 9 reads, uh, you know, why is earth and ashes so proud? You know, our time like that. So let's get into this Maccabees, right? Let's go to uh, first Maccabees. Let's start at chapter two. We ended at chapter one last week. Let's go to chapter two. Bring that out. This is the book of First Maccabees, chapter two and verse one. In those days arose Mattathias, the son of John, the son of Simeon, a priest of the son of Joar, Joar from Jerusalem and dwelt in Modin. And he had five sons. So write that down. Mattathias had five sons. In your notes, Mattathias had five sons. Uh huh. Jo Joannan, mm -hmm. called Cadiz. So that's one and the same. Uh huh. Simon, called Tysi. Okay, that's one and the same. Judas, who was called Maccabeus. Mm hmm. Judas Maccabeus. We want to write that down. Uh huh. Eleazar, called Avaron. One and the same. And Jonathan, whose surname was a fuss. Who have more AKAs than they named in Israel? Even today, right? Yeah, you know his you know his name. No, that ain't the name his mama gave him. You know, this stuff, this stuff, nothing new, right? Let's finish reading. Verse 6. And when he saw the blasphemies that were committed in Judah and Jerusalem. Why? Because what type of blasphemies was going on last week when we was reading family? They was uh putting swine on the altar, destroying his people, uh Antiochus Epiphanes was what? Um, destroying his people, giving them swine, telling the people to leave their laws, right? And a lot of our people was consenting to this. Kind of today, you know, consenting to it's evil if you don't go with the programming. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't want to be like Gabrielle Union, then something's wrong with you. If you don't want to be like D. Wade, something's wrong with you, right? Can you read? Verse 7. He said, Woe is me. Wherefore was I born to see this misery of my people mm -hmm. and of the holy city and to dwell there when it was delivered into the hand of the enemy and the sanctuary into the hand of strangers. Her temple is become as a man without glory. Her glorious vessels are carried away into captivity. Her infants are slain in the streets. Her young men with the sword of the enemy. What nation hath not had part in her kingdom? Mm, what nation have not had part in her kingdom? Same thing today, family. You know, this nation been this nation of Israel been stripped out, uh, been been used and abused by a lot of nations, and of course, used and abusing each other. Everyone done got a piece of Israel, right? If you just think about it. Who's running your entertainment, running it up by the billions? You know, who's running up all the, the hair stores? Who's running up all the, the, the jail cells? Who's getting uh, 
who's who's just getting tossed to and fro, left and right, tore up? Finish reading. What nation hath not had part in her kingdom mm -hmm. and gotten of her spoils? All her ornaments are taken away. Of a free woman, she has become a bond slave. Remember it say that? Go to, uh, hold that. Go to Jeremiah. Is it 2 and 14? Come Bring that up. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 2 and verse 14. Is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled? They can't get it together. Why they can't get it together, man? They just they mindset. They just got a slave mindset. Right? Finish reading at the uh, Maccabees. Picking up at verse 12 in 1 Maccabees chapter 2. And behold, our sanctuary, even our beauty and our glory is laid waste. And the Gentiles have profaned it. To what end, therefore, shall we live any longer? Then Mattathias and his sons rent their clothes and put on sackcloth and mourn very sore. In the meanwhile, the king's officers, such as compelled the people to revolt, came into the city, Modin, to make them sacrifice. And when many of Israel came unto them, Mattathias also and his sons came together. Then answered the king's officers and said to Mattathias, On this wise thou art a ruler and an honorable and great man in this city and strengthened with sons and brethren. Now therefore come thou first and fulfill the king's commandment like as all the, like as all the heathen have done. Yea, and the men of Judah also. And such as remain at Jerusalem, so shalt thou and thy house be in the number of the king's friends. And thou and thy children shall be honored with silver and gold and many rewards. Then Mattathias answered and spake with a loud voice, Though all the nations that are under the kingdom, like it, though all the nations that are under the king's dominion obey him, and fall away every one from religion of their fathers and give consent to his commandments? Yet will I and my sons and my brethren walk in the covenant of our fathers. So what's going on here? Anybody? Denying the king's request for him to uh, follow his laws. Instead, he's going to follow the most high's laws, which is the covenant of his fathers. Con, him and his family, he's getting his voice now. We stand on the path. We're not selling out, right? Finish reading. Verse 21. God forbid that we should forsake the law and the ordinances. We will not hearken to the king's words to go from our religion, either on the right hand or left. Now, when he had left speaking these words, there came one of the Jews in the sight of all the of all to sacrifice on the altar which was at Modin, according to the king's commandment. Which thing, when Mattathias saw, he was inflamed with zeal, and his reins trembled. Neither could he forbear to show his anger, according to judgment. Wherefore, he ran and slew him upon the altar. Also, the king's commissioner, who compelled men to sacrifice, he killed at that time, and the altar he pulled down. Thus dealt, he, thus dealt he zealously for the law of the Most High, like as Phineas did unto Zambri, the son of Salam. And Mattathias cried throughout the city with a loud voice, saying, Whosoever is zealous of the law and maintaineth the covenant, let him follow me. So, what's, what's zealous mean? Like a passion. Con. Finish reading. So he and his sons fled into the mountains and left all that ever they had in the city. Verse 29. Then many that sought after justice and judgment went down into the wilderness to dwell there, both they and their children and their wives and their cattle, because afflictions increased sore upon them. Check that out. We read Ecclesiastes 1 and 9 earlier, right, family? 
talking about his no new thing on her son. And check that out. He says, 20, verse 29, Then many that sought after justice and judgment went down into the wilderness to dwell there. That's We know that that's coming one day, right? Mm -hmm. Both they and their children and their wives and their cattle. Why? Because afflictions increased sore upon them. A lot of people think that America's just going to get better, right? But we see since 2020, like, the world just hasn't been the same. You know, you got some EDD money. You, you ran through that. You know, brothers and sisters in the world, right? But things just, things just tightening up. Things just not the same. Most high shaking these people. Look, are you prepared? You know, are you on the path? You getting with some people that's, you know, that's following me the right way. There's not a lot of people, even in Israel, not following that know that Israel not trying to follow the most high the right way. How we know we following the most high the right way? That's one way. We doing what the word say, right? We you, you, you doing what you supposed to do by your neighbor. A lot of people just think I'm just gonna precept it to death. Look, I'm gonna correct you, brother. And at home, they they a whole different way. It's just all about just correcting you with the book. That's that's the mindset. I gotta get some authority, man. At, at work, I ain't got no authority. In my house, I ain't got no authority. Okay, look, I'm gonna whoop you with this Bible. Then it, and it's not about just getting you to the most high the righteous way, right? So we gotta really be following the most high the right way. They wasn't doing this for vainglory, right? Then it read. Verse 31. Now when it was told the king's servants and the host that was at Jerusalem and the city of David that certain men who had broken the king's commandment were gone down into the secret places in the wilderness, they pursued after them a great number and, hang, and having overtaken them, they camped against them and made war against them on the Sabbath day. Mm -hmm. And they said unto them, Let that which ye have done hitherto sacrifice come forth and do according to the commandment of the king and ye shall live but they said we will not come forth neither will we do the king's commandment to profane the sabbath day so then they gave them the battle with all speed how be it they answered them not neither cast they a stone at them nor stopped the places where they had where they where they hid slightly, but said, let us die all in our innocency. Heaven and earth shall testify for us that ye put us to death wrongfully. Mm -hmm. Because why? They were just doing right by the most high. So just think about the aggression that people have when you just trying to follow the most high. You ain't even saying nothing sometimes. They just want to come for you with, well, yeah, you know, because that religion that you in, or yeah, you know, just... Just trying to trying to slick bully you, right? Because you just trying to clean it up. You ain't bothering them. But it's something in people that just, you know, when you follow on the most high, some people not really with that. They okay with you just destroying yourself sometimes, right? Uh, keep it going. Verse 38. So they rose up against them in battle on the Sabbath day. And they slew them with their wives and children and their cattle to the number of a thousand people. Now when Mattathias and his friends understood hereof, they mourned for them right sore. And one of them said to another, if we all do as our brethren have done and fight not for our lives and laws against the heathen, they will now quickly root us out of the earth. At that time, therefore, they decreed saying, Whosoever shall come to make battle with us on the Sabbath day, we will fight against him. Neither will we all die, as our brethren that were murdered in the secret places. Then came there unto him a company of Assyrians, who were mighty men of Israel, even all such as were voluntarily devoted unto the law. Also all they that fled for persecution joined themselves unto them and were a stay unto them. So they joined their forces and smote sinful men in their anger and wicked men in their wrath 
but the rest fled to the heathen for succor. Then Mattathias and his friends went round about and pulled down the altars. And what children soever they found within the coast of Israel uncircumcised, those they circumcised valiantly. They pursued also after the proud men, and the work prospered in their in their hands. So what's going on here? They warn, right? They trying to clean, they fighting up against the, I guess you call it system. You know? <laughs> they they, you know, no new thing under the sun. You know, this before uh million man march and in civil rights and all like, you know, being trying to stand in, standing up against it in a real way, right? Mm -hmm. This before Marcus Garvey. So it's always this uh now you got Israel waking up, right? And now it's always been this uproar. That's why it's always just look, these people are gonna keep trying to these people something in they keep trying to rise up. Keep on pressing that down. We gotta make sure you ain't check. You trying to start your own uh, basketball team ice cube and you know just everything all the way around the board you know the, anywhere the people try to rise up just keep on pushing it back finish reading verse 48 so they recovered the law out of the hand of the gentiles and out of the hand of kings neither suffered they sinner to to triumph mm -hmm. now when the time drew near that mattathias should die he said unto his sons now hath pride and rebuke gotten strength, and the time of destruction and the wrath of indignation. Now therefore, my sons, be ye zealous for the law, and give your lives for the covenant of your fathers. Mm, so the covenant of your fathers, right? Be zealous for the law. Why is this law so important? Get Romans 7 and 12. This law so this law is just key. It's like you crack the code, you get it. You getting a protection over you. And that's why people, they think it just, you know, well, why are you just following that? See, they don't understand. That's why you, that's why you always getting tore up. Most high always find a way for his people that's following him. Like, oh, I don't know how I'm going to get through this. I don't know how I'm going to do this, do that. And then boom, he just find a way. Think about it. If the most high didn't have you this whole time, plenty of times you would be messed up. If he didn't have you all the way through these years, you being here. You know, your children, you know, your parents. Uh, what the Most High has done for them is, is, is giving you a, a, you got the cheat code. Because your parents won't, is, is following the Most High and got the law. So you got a, a certain way of life that the Most High got his hand on you. Finish reading. This is the book of Romans, chapter 7 and verse 12. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, the law is holy and the commandment holy mm -hmm. and just. And good. So you want to make sure you have this, keep you separate. A lot of people don't want to obey no commandments. They want to obey no commandments, doing a lot of evil. Then the family go putting angel wings on the obituary. Stop playing. Stop playing with the Most High. You know they wasn't living like that. You know they wasn't even trying to seek the Most High. Yeah, his brother looking down on me. From where? You know. We pray to the Most High, have mercy on whom we have it, right? His will be done. Uh, let's go back to Maccabees. The book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 2, and verse 51. Call to remembrance what acts our fathers did in their time. So shall you receive great honor and an everlasting name. Was not Abraham found faithful in temptation, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness? Joseph, in the time of his distress, kept the commandment and was made Lord of Egypt. Phineas, our father, and being zealous and fervent, obtained the covenant of an everlasting priesthood. That's Joseph. Joseph, for fulfilling the word, was made a judge in Israel. Mm -hmm. Caleb, for bearing witness before the congregation, received the heritage of the land. David, for being merciful, possessed the throne of an everlasting kingdom. Elias, for being zealous and fervent, for the law was taken up into heaven. Ananias, Azarias, and Misael, by, by believing, were saved out of the flame. Daniel, for his innocency, 
was delivered from the mouth of lions. Mm -hmm. And thus, consider ye throughout all ages that none that put their trust in him shall be overcome. Putting your trust in the Most High. And it gets deep, right, with these Maccabees, how they were just destroying the people, right? Finish reading. Verse 62. Fear not the words of a sinful man, for his glory shall be dumbed and wormed. Mm -hmm. Today he shall be lifted up, and tomorrow he shall not be found, because he is returned into his dust. And his thought is come to nothing. Wherefore, ye my sons, be valiant, and show yourselves men in the behalf of the law. For by it shall ye obtain glory. So the law, give you, you're going to obtain the glory, right? You're going to obtain the glory. The new body, right? The, the, the immortality, like it talks about in... Uh, What's that? Uh, First Corinthians. So you want to make sure that you're getting your inheritance. People not believing in this, right? So they just gonna believe in death. They don't want life. If you're not, if you're not seeking the Most High, forefathers knew what was promised to them, right? If they did this law, this law is important. He's naming it throughout all the generations back then, from Abraham. All these righteous men was doing the law. And when they fell off, they got back. King David, right? He fell off, he got back. Numbering Israel, sending a man to war behind his woman. King David was going off. But he did what? What did he do? What did he do that brought him back? Huh? He repented. He repented, yeah. Bring, bring that out. He repented, right? That's what he did. So we got to repent from our, from our way. And not just, we can't get over on the most high. Say he know our thoughts. So he know when we playing with him. It's disrespectful, right? Let your children lie to you. What you gonna do? Hmm. <laughs> Finish reading. Verse 65. And behold, I know that your brother Simon is a man of counsel. Give ear unto him always. He shall be a father unto you. As for Judas Maccabeus, mm -hmm. he had been mighty and strong, even from his youth up. Let him be your captain and fight the battle of the people. Take also unto you all those that observe the law and avenge ye the wrong of your people. Recompense fully the heathen and take heed to the commandments of the law. So he blessed them and was gathered to his fathers. And he died in the in the hundred forty and sixth year, and his sons buried him in the sepulchres of his fathers at Modin, and all Israel made great lamentation for him. Khan, Khan, you know who's the nation that's behind them? Who's who's the who are the Grecians? Who are the Greeks? What nation, according to the Bible, what nation is behind the Greeks? Because we know that book of Genesis, you know, in the, in the, in the, in the uh, there's no family called the Greeks. So who's the Greeks? Who's the Greeks, family? What nation of people? If we the sons of Jacob, right? If we the sons of Israel, who are the Greeks? I'm going to guess probably one of the Ethiopians. No, good try. Eat them, okay. So we know that, but what 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 what's the chief house of Edom? Khan. Khan. That's the chief house, right? That's the chief house. That's they fully with with Satan's plan to destroy all mankind, right? They against all mankind. Get a uh, get hold that. Get Exodus seventeen and sixteen. You know, does it matter? Yeah, it matters. This, this is what the Most High say. This is what he say. This is what he put in his word. This is what he had his scribes put in his word. Exodus 17 and 16. It's the book of 
Exodus chapter 17 and verse 16. For he said, Because the Lord hath sworn that the Lord will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. So all the generations, right? It's a people that serpent seed. Go to uh, Genesis uh, uh, 3 and 14. It's a, it's a seed of evildoer, the Amalekites. That's against the Most High and everything he's about. Because they the opposite, right? They chosen by what? That serpent, the serpent seed. That the Most High said will be at war against the woman seed. What's the woman seed, family? Israel. Israel, right? That's the woman seed. Bring that out. The book of Genesis, chapter 3 and verse 14. Mm -hmm. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And above every beast of the field, upon thy belly shalt thou go, mm -hmm. and dust shalt be, so like you, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. Mm -hmm. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, mm -hmm. and between thy seed and her seed. So he got a seed of evildoers that work behind the news stations, that work that work behind the religions, that work behind the United Nations, that print the money that finance the music industry, that paint the lifestyle, that that programming. You know what we want. We bring it out more than any scripture. Get a uh, second Corinthians four and three. So this seed of evildoers is they always trying to get you where they going. You guys think they try, they plan for keeps. Satan and his people plan for keeps. It's about souls. Well it's about control man they trying to get the money. Brother, you're being controlled. You can't put the blunt down. Hmm. You're being controlled. <laughs> you can't put it down for hours. Bring that out. It's the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 4, and verse 3. But if our gospel be hid, mm -hmm. it is hid to them that are lost. But why are they lost? Why? Bring that out. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. So he blinds your mind. You blinded. You puffed up, you laugh at people that's in this word, not knowing its history, not knowing its museums and artifacts and things that confirm this word, right? So he blind your mind. You got a whole different mindset. You got that reprobate mind that it talks about in uh, Romans chapter one. You believe in what they tell you. You can't take your mask off. Take the mask off. You didn't see no ambulance going up and down the street. Let's get back to this Maccabee. So the Amalekite family, you gotta stay on that. They're the ones that's at war against the Most High. Anything that they, if they tell you is good, know that it's bad. Bring that up. The book of Maccabees, first Maccabees, chapter three and verse one. Then his son, Judas, called Maccabeus, rose up in his stead, and all his brethren helped him. And so did all they that held with his father and they fought with cheerfulness the battle of Israel. So he got his people great honor and put on a breastplate as a giant and girt his warlike harness about him. And he made battles, protecting the host with his sword. Mm -hmm. And his ax, he was like a lion and like a lion's whelp roaring for his prey. For he pursued the wicked and sought them out and burnt up those that vexed his people. Wherefore the wicked shrunk for fear in, of him, and all the workers of iniquity were troubled, because salvation prospered in his hand. He grieved also many kings, and made Jacob glad with his axe, and his memorial memorial is a blessing forever. It's like it, and his memorial is blessed forever. Moreover, he went through the cities of Judah, destroying the ungodly out of them and turning away wrath from Israel, so that he was renowned unto the, the utmost part of earth. And he received unto him such as were ready to perish. Then Apollo, Apollonius gathered the Gentiles together and a great host out of Samaria to fight against Israel, which thing when Judas perceived, he went forth to meet him. And so he smote him and slew him, Many also fell down slain, but the rest fled. 
Wherefore Judas took their spoils, and Ap Apollonius swore also, and therewith he fought all his life long. Now when Saran, a priest of the army of, of Syria, heard, heard say that Judas had gathered unto him a multitude and company of the faithful to go out with him to war, he said, I will get me a name and honor and the kingdom, for I will go fight with Judas and them that are with him who despised the king's commandment. So he made him ready to go up, and there went with him a mighty host of the ungodly to help him, mm -hmm. and to be avenged of the children of Israel. And when he came near to the going up of Bethuron, Judas went forth to meet him with a small company, who, when they saw the host coming up to meet them, said unto Judas, how shall we be able, being so few, to fight against so great a multitude and so strong? And this is how the Most High always has it. The Most High always had us few in number. Why? Why does he have us few in number? That he may show his power, like the word says, right? He didn't choose us because we was the because we was the deepest. He all it's always about the Most High. And somehow in this walk we make it about us more than it's about him you know sometimes we don't really even see, see us doing it but knowledge puppet up he just gonna use the next generation just like he did uh leaving egypt when he chose who joshua caleb right so it's always about the most high showing forth i mean he done he done made this right we ain't we ain't invented nothing bring that out Seeing we are ready to faint with fasting all this day. Mm -hmm. Verse 18. Unto whom Judas answered, It is no hard matter for many to be shut up in the hands of a few. And with the God of heaven, it is all one to deliver with a great multitude or a small company. For the victory of battle standeth not in the multitude of an host, but strength cometh from heaven. Mm hmm. They come against us in much pride and iniquity to destroy us and our wives and children and to spoil us. But we fight for our lives and our laws. Wherefore, the Lord himself will overthrow them before our face. And as for you, be ye not afraid of them. Now, as soon as he had left off speaking, he leaped suddenly upon them. And so Saran and his host was overthrown before him. And they pursued them from the going down of Beth Haran unto the plain, where, where were slain about 800 men of them. And the residue fled into the land of the Philistines. Mm -hmm. Then began the fear of Judas and his brethren, and all exceeding great dread, to fall upon the nations round about them. And so much as his fame came unto the king, and all nations talked of the battles of Judas because Judas was putting it down right but just like back then what how was we winning those wars back then family what was our what was the key what was the key what did we have back then when we were going to war that helped us during those times because we see okay y'all could jump out the gym be strong you got that deep voice that deep Judah voice Israel what what did we have back then though Huh? We had that. We had that ark, right? Christ was going to war before our enemies, right? So that's why no matter who rises up, all the, the many great leaders that have tried, Nat Turner's on up to you got Umar today. <laughs> you know? But it, it just doesn't work without him. So he has to win this war. Why? Go to Deuteronomy chapter 2. We always needed him. A lot of people think they could. Nah, we we, we winning it. You know, we, we learning we learning finances. I'm doing signing up for the seminars and I'm learning this, I'm learning that. Yeah, you could get a little you could get a little something here, but they still printing your money that you working hard for. You still got barcode on that fruit. Go to uh let's get uh chapter 
Let's get one in uh, 41. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 41. Then he answered and said unto me, We have sinned against the Lord. We will go up and fight according to all, so like according to all that the Lord our God commanded us. And when ye had girded on every man his weapons of war, ye were ready to go up into the hill. And the Lord said unto me, Say unto them, Go not up, neither fight, for I am not among you, lest ye be smitten before your enemies. So you always need the Most High. You always needed Christ, right? The Most High always sent his son Christ to lead the way for his people, right? Finish reading. Verse 43. So I spake unto you, and ye would not hear, but rebelled against the commandment of the Lord, and went presumptuously up into the hill. And the Amorites, which dwelt in that mountain, came out against you and chased you, as bees do, and destroyed you in Seir, even to Hormah. Mm -hmm. So, always have to be right with the Most High. That's why it doesn't matter what people's planning. You got some, you got your stuff together, yeah, but you don't got the Most High. That might be, he might be preparing that for someone else. Right? Let's go back to it. Let's go back to Maccabees. Picking up at 1 Maccabees chapter 3 and verse 27. Now when King Antiochus heard these things, he was full of indignation. Wherefore, he sent and gathered together all the forces of his realm. What does that mean of his realm? What is Antiochus? Antiochus Epiphany. He was the one when we was reading last week, family chapter 1, that was uh, came through and destroying the Most High's altar, defiling the temple, pushing that lawlessness on the people, right? So he went and got those forces of his realm that he controlled, right? He went to get his crew, read. Even a very strong army. Uh -huh. He opened also his treasure and gave his soldiers pay for a year, commanding them to be ready whensoever he should need them. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, when he saw that the money of his treasures failed and that the tributes in the country were small, because of this, the dissension and uh, and plague which he had brought upon the land and taking away the laws which he had been of old time. So when you take the law away, what did we bring out earlier, family, in Ecclesiastes 1 and 9? About no new thing under the sun. When you take the law out of the community of the children of Israel, it's a covenant connected to you. That's why all the neighborhoods look the same. No law being kept. Special people, you are connected to this law. You're not doing this law, then you only gonna be used by Satan. Because you see, some people, man, you know, why they not going through it? Well, some people preserve to keep misleading. Others that want to follow, right? But you see, these these neighborhoods from Sac to to the Bay to L.A. to Chicago. Even where you at in uh, the UK, these ghettos out there, no law. You get tore up. Uh, bring that, finish reading. Picking up at verse 30. He feared that he should not be able to bear the charges any longer, nor to have such gifts to give so liberally as he did before. For he had abounded above the kings that were before him. Wherefore, being greatly perplexed in his mind, he determined to go into Persia, there to take the tributes of the countries and to gather much money. So Persia, because what? Who took over Persia? Come on, family. Who took over Persia? Who? Khan. They took over Persia. Remember Alexander the Greek? Remember, he took over Persia. So now, uh, colonization, that's part of, that's part of, uh, of his realm. You know, just like today, you know, you have Africa. They put someone that looked like the people in position, but they're not really running nothing. That's how they was able to what? That's how they were able to uh, just lock the whole world down in that March of 2020, right? They're not giving nothing back. A peace treaty just means, look, get down or lay down. They're not looking to give, let you rise up, your equality. That just means lose the law and believe in the, in the system of Caesar, right? 
Finish reading. Verse 32. Mm -hmm. So he left Lysias, a nobleman, and one of the blood of royal. So there's a blood royal. There's a blood royal with these people. Who's the royal blood in Edom, family? Who's the royal blood, family? Come on. Esau is the main bloodline, but who's the royal blood of Esau? Yukon, we just said that. The Great Britain family, right? Today, same bloodline. These royal families, these, these Rothschilds, these Rockefellers, this, the Pope. These are certain bloodlines royal to them. Why? Because they got Horite blood, right? When you read uh, Genesis chapter 36 on your own time. Finish reading. Verse 32. So he left Lysias, a nobleman, and one of the of the blood royal, to oversee the affairs of the king from the river Euphrates unto the borders of Egypt. Uh-huh. And to bring up his son Antiochus until he came again. Mm -hmm. Moreover, he delivered unto him the half of his forces and the elephants, and gave him charge of all things that he would have done. As also concerning them that dwelt in Judah and Jerusalem, to wit, that he should send an army against them to destroy and root out the strength of Israel and the remnant of Jerusalem to take away their memorial from that place. So and he wants to take the memorial out of that place. That's what they do, right? They want to make sure you don't remember nothing. Finish reading. And that he should place strangers in all their quarters and divide their land by lot. So the king took the half of their forces that remained and departed from Antioch, from Antioch his royal city, the hundred forty and seventh year. And having passed the river Euphrates, he went through the high countries. Then Lysias chose Ptolemy, the son of Doremnius, and Nicanor and Gorgias, mighty men of the king's friends. And with them, he sent 40,000 footmen and 7,000 horsemen to go into the land of Judah and to destroy it as the king commanded. So they went forth with all their power and came and pitched by Emmaus Emma, yeah, in the plain country and the merchants of the country, hearing the fame of them, took silver and gold very much with servants and came into the camp to buy the children of Israel for slaves, a power also of Syria and of the land of the Philistines joined themselves unto them. Now when Judas and his brethren saw the, the miseries were multiplied and that the forces did encamp themselves in the borders, for they knew how the king had given commandment to destroy the people and utterly abolished him. Mm -hmm. They said one to another, let us, re let us restore the decayed estate of our people and let us fight for our people and the sanctuary. Then was the congregation gathered together that they might be ready for battle and that they might pray and ask mercy and compassion. Now Jerusalem lay void as a wilderness. There was none of her children that went in or out. The sanctuary also was trodden down, and aliens kept the stronghold. The heathen had their habitation in that place, and joy was taken from Jacob, and the pipe with the harp ceased. Mm -hmm. The pipe with the harp ceased. No more that good music, right? No more that good music. Let's go to uh, Ezekiel chapter 35. <clears throat> Let's start at verse 1. the book of Ezekiel chapter 35 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it, and say unto it, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, 
and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. Mm -hmm. I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. So they've had a perpetual hatred. They've had a perpetual hatred, right? Uh-huh. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the, in the time of their calamity and the, in the time and their iniquity had an end. So the most high is against them. Why? Because they could have reprogrammed you into righteous music. They could reprogram you into righteous movies, righteous video games. Righteous education, righteous food, righteous garments. They could have restored, they could have helped, right? But it's the surface sea. They had war against the most high, what the most high wants. I'm not even going to just say his people. Anything the most high got to do, they're against it. They've had a perpetual hatred. And finish reading. Verse 6. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, I will prepare thee unto blood. And everyone knows this is according, this is concerning Edom, by the way. Mount Seir. When he opened it up in verse 1. we we'll finish reading. And blood shall pursue thee. Blood's going to pursue them. Remember, Christ coming to get, who is this coming from Basra in uh, Isaiah chapter 63? He coming back bloody for war. He's not coming back with long, silky uh, hair and a white robe and looking to give out hugs. Read. Sith thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Uh -huh. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, mm -hmm. and cut off from it him that passeth out, and him that returneth. Mm -hmm. And I will fill his mountains with his slain men, in thy hills, and in thy valleys, and in all thy rivers, shall they fall that are slain with the sword. Mm -hmm. I will make thee perpetual desolation. This sound, so this is that Armageddon, family. This is that Armageddon, that last war. They got to start teaching war in these churches. They got to start teaching what's really coming. He catch you with the LGB shirt on and you playing drums and saying you in his church? You on the drums. You ain't supposed to be on the drums. <laughs> Finish reading. I will make thee perpetual desolations. And thy city shall not return. Uh -huh. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. Verse 10. Because thou hast said, these two nations and these two countries shall be mine. And that's what they do, right? Colonization. Straight just steal. But by the sword thou shalt live. That's what he says in, uh, when uh, Isaac gave that blessing, right? It's like when Abraham gave that blessing. Finish reading. And we will possess it, whereas... The, I said it right the first time, Isaac. Go ahead. And we will possess it, whereas the Lord was there. Mm -hmm. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, I will even do according to thine anger and according to thy envy, which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them. So, the Amalekites have a hatred for these people, right? The serpent seed have a hatred toward these people. You, could, you should know them by their fruits. Why don't our people know them by their fruits? This is why I was bringing out earlier that the law is important. So you can see. Get that uh, commandment is a light. What's that? Uh, what's that Proverbs 6, 26, 26, 6? 21, 6. Get that commandment is a light. The lamp is a light. What's that? Con, it's that six and twenty-three. Bring that out. Good job, good job. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter six and verse twenty-three. Mm -hmm. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is the light. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be able to see. That's why we laugh at them when they come on there trying to tell us how we, how we should that they want to help. They just want to help. Then retire us all. <laughs> retire us all right now. For, for building that all the country, right? For making the stock markets. Change the music. Change it all up. Finish reading. Verse 13 in Ezekiel chapter 35. Uh -huh. 
Thus, with your mouth, ye have boasted against me and have multiplied your words against me. I've heard them. Thus saith the Lord God, when the whole earth rejoices, I will make thee desolate. So the, the world's going to rejoice at, the, at their fall. Because it's been so long. You're talking about how long? Does anyone know how long they've really been ruling? We'll just round it off. About 2,000. About 2,000, right? It's a long time. That's a long time. And people puffed up against the Most High for their, what, 20, 30, 40 years? You know, a lot of people puffed up against the Most High. You talking about, man, use a small part in this big plan. Small part. Finish reading. Verse 15. As thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel, mm -hmm. because it was desolate, so will I do unto thee. Thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Seir, and all Idumia. All of Idumia, uh-huh. Even all of it. And they shall know that I am the Lord. So they they on a they on a they on a time clock, right? Anyone got any questions on the lesson? I do. Yeah. <laughs> That's just a Greek word for uh, Edom. It's just a Greek word to say uh, Edom. Just a uh, different. So you have all of I do me, all of it, you know. And this, 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 you know. If you don't know Bible, you don't know history, you just gonna keep going back to the slave ships. You don't know all of this happened because people don't wanna go into the word. But we, we also have to be taught in the word. That's why it's each one teach one, you know. You young, uh, young men and, and women in here, make sure you're eating all this up, you know. Y'all gonna be, you know, young men is, is more precious than fine gold, you know. Knowing this stuff, and when the, when the world come, y'all gonna be so wise. You're going to be so wise compared to, I mean, some people is telling their kids to go away from this. They they don't even know, not even a little bit. You know, they want them to just follow the world. So you you following this? Oh, man, you could be the next Judas Maccabeus. You know? <laughs> go ahead. You said God ain't coming. Like, I know he ain't going to come with, like, all nice with a white robe and stuff and so fair. Mm -hmm. How else is he coming? Like, Let's see how he coming, young brother. Go Isaiah 63. Let's see how he coming. Let's get Isaiah 63. Bring that out. Everybody there, Con? Con. The book of Isaiah, chapter 63, and verse 1. Who is this that cometh from Edom with thy garments from Basra? Basra is the is the is the chief, is the is the uh what you would call the capital of Edom, of, of Mount Seir, right? Uh-huh. This that is glorious in all his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. Mm -hmm. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel? Why is Christ so red in his apparel? Let's see. Jump it over to Revelation chapter 19. Let's get 19. Let's start at verse 11. How is he coming? The book of Revelation. Chapter 19 and verse 11. And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. Uh -huh. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. So they say, only God, only, only, you can't judge what well, he's coming to judge. You know, he's coming to bring judgment, righteous judgment, whether you're good or bad. Uh huh. His eyes were as a flame of fire. Uh huh. Imagine that. And on his head were many crowns. Mm hmm. And he had a name written. That no man knew but he himself. Mm -hmm. And was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. Mm -hmm. And his name is called the word of the most high. Who's he with? Who he with? And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon <coughs> white horses. Uh -huh. Clothed in fine linen. White and clean. Mm -hmm. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword. So he bringing destruction through the mouth. Uh -huh. That with it he should smite the nations. Because why? Because the nations... 
United Nations that they talk about. Don't know if you know about that, but the nations coming together, one world army, one world this, one world that, all coming together, right, for this oneness. Well, oneness against who? Finish reading. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. Mm -hmm. And he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. What's treading the winepress? When you go through wine, you're making grapes, you just get everywhere. You're just going through that winepress. That's how his garment's going to look. You, you all right, right? <laughs> but yeah, that's how he coming. Anything else, family? I got a quick question. Maybe some edification. Uh huh. Uh, Edom, Edom, Esau, Amalek, mm -hmm. same ethnicity, correct? Well, it's like this. You got Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel. He got the twelve tribes of Israel, right? Uh -huh. So you got Edom. Same thing as Esau, same name. And then he had his children, right? So that's that's what that is. Yeah. So that's uh you could get that in you could read that in Genesis 36, you will see that. Alright. Alright, family, let's pray out. Thank the most high. shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other and there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone and among these nations shalt thou find no ease neither shall the soul of thy foot have rest but the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind and thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shalt have none assurance of thy life. In the morning thou shalt say, Would God it were even, and at even thou shalt say, Would God it were morning, for the fear of thine heart wherewith thou shalt fear, and for the sight of thine eyes which thou shalt see. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord God of Israel, saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. For lo, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, saith the Lord, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess flicked thee. And I will save her that halteth, and gather her that was driven out. And I will get them praise and fame, in every land where they have been put to shame. At that time, while I bring you again, even in the time that I gather you, for I will make you a name and a praise among all 